Hi everyone, Mr. David here. Hope everyone is having a great day and we miss you very much. I would like to do another read along today. This is a great story. It's called Grumpy Cat and I hope that you enjoy it. Once there was a cat who lived all alone. He ate on his own, he slept on his own, he spent every day alone. He would sit between the trash cans and look very, very grumpy. At night, other cats in the neighborhood would meet and play together. Cat wanted to join in, but he just didn't know how. The other cats didn't ask him because they thought he was a grumpy cat. But really, he was a lonely cat. One night, everything changed. There was a terrible thunderstorm that crashed and shook the ground. Cat looked for shelter from the storm, but there wasn't any. Poor Cat got wetter, colder, soggier, and even grumpier than before. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, there came a meow. Cat looked down and there between his paws was a little orange kitten. Kitten was a, as wet and as cold and as soggy as Cat. Meow, said Kitten. Cat didn't know what to do. Kitten fouled Cat. She rolled on her back and showed her belly. She wiggled her tail under Cat's nose. She tried to catch Cat's tail. She just wanted to be friendly, but Cat still looked grumpy. Cat tried his best to lose Kitten by balancing on a high picket fence, but Kitten was right behind him. Cat thought he had finally lost Kitten by climbing a tall tree. Then Cat heard a meow. Slowly and grumpily, Cat turned around. There at the foot of the tree was Kitten. Kitten followed Cat up the tree. She tried to reach him by balancing on the thinnest of branches. Then Kitten slipped. Quick as a flash, Cat leaped over and took Kitten gently by the scruff of her neck and carried her down the tree to safety. Once they were on the ground, Cat licked Kitten to make sure she felt safe. Kitten meowed. She was happy and hungry. Cat dashed off, but soon returned with a surprise. A great big fresh fish as big as Kitten. Cat and Kitten ate until their bellies were full. Cat and Kittled cuddled up for a snooze. They had each found a friend, and Cat was never grumpy again. Well, almost never. The end, my friends. What a great story, wasn't it? Hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Mr. David. Have a great day, everybody. Miss you.